Hello again, second to last uh, talk on the heart. You can see I'm sweating here. It's really hot and humid in the bush here in Hong Kong. Uh, but here's the thing, um, our hearts are like a garden and uh, I'm not a great gardener, but I do love gardens. And you know, you have to, there's a law of uh, second thermodynamics, the law of atrophy, unless an outside energy is engaged in keeping order Everything in this planet, because of the fall of Adam, tends to move back to chaos or disorder or disintegration. That's just a scientific law. Now, our new creation nature is new creation, so it's not part of the fallenness. So our spirit is always joyful. Our spirit is always full of righteousness. But you see, our spirit has to work through our heart, which and our, our soul and our spirit come together. And so we need to always... Do some maintenance on our heart. That's what mature people do. For if our heart gets filled with bitterness and offenses, and we begin to develop those as a righteous way of life, it's, uh, it produces in us real self-righteousness, and uh, we self-sabotage our lives. Because when your heart is twisted or um, disintegrated or fractured, it, it begins to confuse, it gets confused between what is confidence and what is just defiance. Now, defiance is just a irrational, arrogant reaction that has no favor of God behind it. It doesn't endear you, it doesn't appeal to people, and it doesn't give you uh, influence with people that really are wonderful people. And eventually you begin to club with or connect with people that just have defiant hearts and when you do that what you do sadly and you don't have to do that of course is we shrink our world into that distorted group whose lenses on life have become so defined by a shrunken heart or a fragmented heart and there's really really no favor of God behind that that's governing that and and precipitating you into the blessing of God and the favor of God. You know, Jesus said in Matthew 5, he said, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall inherit the earth. Now, that's a pretty big inheritance. And I believe that's so, because God spoke to Abraham and gave Abraham a revelation of the love of God, the goodness of God, and the favor of God. And Abraham believed what God was saying, that God is good. And God said, okay, you believe I'm good? Your faith, I credit you as a righteous man. And Abraham made some mistakes and really did some wrong things. But God continued to bless him because Abraham's heart believed that God's good. And what you see then is that God promotes Abraham and says, I will bless you and make you a blessing and you will be a blessing to all nations. Jesus said, blessed are the pure in heart for they shall inherit the earth. You know, there's something about being summoned to ever expanding horizons of favor and influence and fruitfulness where you can bring the aroma of Christ. That as a Christian, as a believer, you can bring joy, you can bring liberty just because being around people with a fresh, naive, innocent, childlike heart is so inspiring these days. And all of you that are listening to this, you can process into the purest of purest of hearts and be an influence across nations and in your neighborhood. So love you and I'll bring one more talk and that'll be it. Bless you. Thank you for listening.